Hello, it's James from xrobots.co.uk. This is part 8 of my scrap metal sculpture inspired 3D printed Geiger alien xenomorph suit. In previous episodes I've worked on making the hand and arm, and more recently I've been working on the head which I've got just here. So last time I sorted out mounting the key parts on a wooden frame and on this stand which is detachable from because of course I need to wear it. And in the episode before last I worked on the inner jaw mechanism which comes out and is quite bitey. So today we're going to work out how on earth I'm going to wear this thing on my head. Alright, so here's the main thing. I've got this wooden frame which I can pretty much pick it up by. Um, and I've got this uh, point here where it's attached to the frame. So that's roughly going to be where the top of my head is. But of course it's very front heavy at the moment and even the back is going to be quite light, a lightweight frame. Whereas the front has most of the mechanics in. So the plan is to make another gimbal point further forward where it's better balanced. And have that attached to some sort of shoulder and chest harness and then use the top of my head, the mounting point there, so that I can move my head around and uh, move the head around so it gimbals about the centre of balance. So I've got a stick to mount it on, which is just some wood painted black, and that's going to be mounted on my chest so that it holds up this gimbal point. And I've also got these two brackets which I picked up at a DIY store, which are going to hook over my shoulders. So we need to 3D print some parts to tie it all together, so let's have a look at some CAD. So this is the first part. You'll notice that um, where I actually need to gimbal it, there's the mechanics for the inner jaw that slides in and out just there. So this ba uh, piece basically fits on the top of my stick and it's got a loop where the mechanics can slide through and this kind of um, nice contour at the top where it can gimbal around and support the main piece of wood on the frame. The red piece there is going to be printed in flexible rubber. That's going to be printed in Ninja Flex. And the hole through the pair of them is to allow a bungee to be tied through. So I'll be drilling a hole in the wooden frame and bungeeing this on so it can spin all around on the Ninja Flex rubber part but re remain in place. So this part is the part that fits my two brackets. The two flat things nearest to us are to hold the uh, mounting points on those metal brackets and there's some screw holes there to secure them. And the um, hole in the front there again is for another bungee piece and that's going to attach to the stick which is going to go um, effectively up in front of my chest. So this will be um, in front of me as we see it now with the flat piece towards my chest and um, the pointy bit away holding the stick. I'll need another piece after this to hold the bottom of the stick which is going to fit below this um, but I'm not quite sure what angle that needs to be so we'll get these printed out and we'll get it assembled and then we'll work it out from there. So here are my parts. Here's the main piece which these parts slot into, just into these slots. So that makes up a nice chest hook shape. I've wiped this over with acetone and filled in some of the splits that occurred. It's ABS so um, it's quite a high part so there's been some warping which I've sealed up and that's why it's quite shiny. So have a look in my previous episodes about acetone welding. Um, but we've made that part nice and strong and I've brushed acetone all over it to seal up all the build lines so that it's um, going to be strong and doesn't break while I'm wearing it. So we've still got our stick and we've got our gimbal piece which is going to mount on top of it and that's going to support Alien's head along with this piece of Ninja Flex which will be glued onto the wooden frame and a hole will be drilled through all three so that I can bungee that on. So this will probably remain detachable so it's placed onto the harness when I want to wear it. I've also got this little piece which is intended to fit on the inside of my stick so that when this is in here, we've got something to attach the bungee to to the hole on the other side. And again, that's going to be bungeed on. So let me put this all back together and see how it fits. And then we'll make the thing for the other end. So 
So the majority of those parts are together. I've got my shoulder brace here, which goes on like so. So let's just put that on. Now that's gonna need some foam underneath so that it's uh, not pressing too much and some foam around the elbows. So that's gonna sit at a slightly different angle, probably more so like that. But for now it's good for a test fit. So if I just grab my alien head, I've got my gimbal fitted, there we go, so balance is quite well around that point. So now if I stick my stick in the bottom of the gimbal, seems to work okay. Um, that's obviously where my head is going to be on this point, so that means that I can move the whole thing around without too much uh, force on my head. Obviously when I let it go it floats there, there'll be a little bit more weight on the back, but on the whole that's gonna be okay. There's gonna be a bit more on the front as well. So as long as this stick can be held by my chest brace, um, then we should be fairly well balanced. So, oops, mind the ceiling. So this thing will be like this, and this thing will be attached to the back of my head or the top of my head. And then I can move around with it so what I need to do is sort out the end of the stick. Let's just move the camera down a bit. So I need to build a thing that holds the bottom of this stick where my hand is. And it's clipped on the bottom of this part. So here's the next part we're going to print. The red part is going to be printed in Ninja Flex and the blue part is going to be printed in ABS, which is rigid, so the red is flexible. Um, they're both going to be black, but I've coloured them differently so you can see them. So the idea of that blue part is that it holds the stick. So that goes in there and its angle can be uh, varied depending on how it sits against my body. And the red part, part there is flexible. And it's got a lip in the top there and it's going to be glued onto the previous triangular rigid part that attaches to the shoulder brace. And the lip there is just so there's some more to glue it with. So um, Ninja Flex is pretty tough. This is five mil thick, but I've left lots of holes in it. May need to save material. I'm not expecting it to stretch very much. So let's get that printed out and get it together and see how well it mounts up. So the printer is using the front extruder here to print most of the parts in rubber. And the two panels here, you maybe can just see are in ABS plastic. And so in a moment it switches to the back extruder and uses the other nozzle. And then it switches between each extruder on each layer to print a hybrid print. So there's the switch over one way, retracting one filament and starting with the other one. So that's printing ABS at the moment with the rear extruder that you can see turning. Now it's retracting ABS, bringing the Ninja Flex back out and printing the rest in Ninja Flex and it does that on each layer. So here's my printed item. The top of this is rubber and the rubber goes all the way down the back. And then I've got these ABS sections, so I've got the ABS holder there for the stick. Um, and that's actually really bonded to the rubber all the way through. And the way I've done that is by having ABS that goes all the way through to the base. So those two patches I was showing you when it's printing are ABS, and they go through the Ninja Flex, which is around it. And that means that's bonded on incredibly well. And the Ninja Flex is incredibly tough. So the plan is that the stick goes in there. And this goes through here. So this bit of Ninja Flex will be glued to the back here, which is what that lip is on the top there, so I can locate it properly. And then this um, holds the head up, and this whole thing, of course, goes over my shoulders. Then I'll attach my little uh, lump there to the inside, so I can clip this in with a bungee, which goes through that hole. And that means I can remove the stick from the shoulder brace, and I can just basically plug it all together and put the head on top when I want to wear it. So let's get that glued up, and we'll try it on for size. So this is all together. This thing is glued on and it works pretty well. So if I put this on, okay, that sticks pretty firm. Um, I probably need something like a rubber bushing in here. So I haven't put the bungee on that holds it so that it can bounce around a bit and stay roughly in place, but it's flexible um, and that's pretty good. And I mentioned putting foam on this and foam around the shoulders. Um, but before I do that, I wanna show you this pink body with a harness on. So originally this was the harness for Iron Man and that was before I did the uh, magnetic and metal system uh, which I then replaced again and I did the 3D printed and bungee version which is currently what holds the torso of Iron Man together. So um, this was the original system and this is made mostly of um, wide webbing strap and those normal buckles that you get on a rucksack. 
Um, there's also some other materials, so we've got some 10mm plastazote foam over the shoulders and inside all of these pieces. Um, and the rather wooden cardboardy looking pieces are made of a material called Maplex board, which is actually a very thin woven wood which is um, welded together or sort of compressed together out of wood fibre and hot water as far as I understand it. Um, so that's hot glued together, there's some bits of wire in there from wire coat hangers. So the idea was on the shoulder there, that would clip on Iron Man's shoulder bell, and the bicep would clip on there and so on. And basically it would make a really good padding for the torso. And then on the hips there I've got these pieces which uh, drop down so you could hang each thigh on. And the belt there is really padded and supported back and front by straps. So um, I've been keeping this for a while, having not used it for Iron Man, for the next suit that I did. So I think what's going to happen, I'm actually going to use this for Alien. So if we take this thing, um, it's going to mean quite a lot more padding. I think I'm going to have to add some other bits and pieces, so maybe some 3D printed Ninja Flex kind of uh, mounts that these ends go into. There's quite a lot of padding on here already. So um, let me put this whole thing on, and we'll see how that fits with the head. So there we are all together, um, that's actually quite comfortable. I think I've just about got the uh, metal things aligned with the padding on the back, but with the addition of some rubber bushings, as I say, to lock those in. Um, probably need to adjust the buckles there so this thing's not pressing on them. You might need some more padding, but on the whole that's feeling not too bad. And obviously having the uh, Maplex board with the plastazote below it actually spreads the weight quite well, so that's quite going to be quite comfortable. And of course I'll be able to lift off this whole thing and take the head off and just keep the bodysuit on. Um, I've got the bicep things kicking around behind me, don't really need those, but I will need the shoulder hooks. So let's put the head on. Onto its gimbal. There we go, so still need to position that stick in the right position. Let's just crouch down. That will kneel on the ground and maybe you can see it. So that feels like it's balanced okay. Um, with the addition of the rubber piece on this stick to hold it in the triangle okay, that's actually going to be quite comfortable. And it's in just the right position. So, um, you'll obviously have noticed that this stick sticks out in front of me quite far, even if I um, pull it back a bit. And the plan for that is to basically build the, um, this into the breastbone of Alien, so mount all of the 3D printed parts on for the ribs. Um, coming up to the head here, we've of course got that slopey bit that's tapered like the piece I put under the chin, or shaped like that, that slopes up. Um, and that'll obviously contain my head within the neck of the Alien suit. Um, I also considered having switches on this stick that I can press with my nose to activate the animatronics. So there's another useful feature of having a stick there. Uh, but on the whole, the big shoulders, Alien has those big high sweeping shoulders. So basically we're going to build the thing out to come out to this stick and this triangle to kind of shape up the rest of the suit. So it looks kind of big and muscular and it's a bit wider than I am. So the whole thing's coming together quite nicely. But um, let me look in my box of parts and we'll see which extra parts of the head I've already printed but need sticking on and how we're going to mount them. So if you remember from last time I had several parts that I printed out um, which I haven't attached to the head yet, which includes these parts which are um, basically sections which have a conduit holder in the bottom. And these all stack up like I've got here in one long line and that's going to make the um, sort of dual sized hosing which will stick along the side of the head. So this is my clay sculpted version I did um, a while ago which I stuck curtain rings in the clay. So I need to mount all of these um, end to end in a giant stack along the end of the head here. So I need to make a mounting piece that kind of keeps them at an angle. They should stick out slightly more than I've got there and they should be slightly curved as well. So if we just put um, a ruler on these, each stack is about 120 mil which means in total we've got 360 mil, uh, which is roughly the size of the clay version I did, and that'll stick on there quite nicely. So we need to print a piece to hold them at the right angle, so let's have a look at that. So what I was printing there was in fact these things in two halves. So I've acetone welded the pieces together. So I've just basically melted the plastic with acetone 
and squidged them together and that's made a chemical weld. So I've got these rather nice sort of uh, curve shaped things which are curved in two directions and then we're going to align these um, along them. So these are just again going to be acetone welded on and aligned and then we can feed conduit through the bottom there to make the bottom feature of the head and all of these will go together to make a really long kind of hose looking thing so we've got this for both sides and I've got lefts and rights of these which are symmetrical so let me get those stuck together and we'll stick them on the head and see how it looks so I've attached those either side hopefully you can just see that nice curved shape let me just tilt that round and there we have it on both sides so let me get this on and we'll see what it looks like so there we go so far hopefully you can um, kind of see how that's going to look once I've got this thing attached to my head properly and I've got the arm on and all the other bits and pieces so it looks like I need to trim that shoulder bell the bit of foam that's sticking there because it's binding on my actual shoulder bell um, so that's going to be no problem and this head mount's working quite well. So that's all I've got for this time. Don't forget to like this video if you like it to let me know you like the series and also let YouTube know that you like it so they can show it to more people and my channel will do better and ultimately I'll be able to build better and better projects. You should also subscribe and check out my other projects in my channel, including the other parts of this avian suit my giant Iron Man Hulkbuster suit and also my Iron Man Mark VI projects.